Hi guys, welcome to Taxis, Kinesis and Trophies. So in terms of the specification, we need to be able to explain those uh, simple responses. And uh, in our next video, we will be looking in more detail on the uh, trophism, which involves IAA. So in here, we will be looking at taxis and kinesis and mainly on the uh, past paper questions. So to get started, we need to recap on the uh, way of the responses. So starting always with the stimulus, receptor, coordinator, effector, effector and response. So what is then, uh, what are the definitions of those? So stimulus, okay, let's get them all in. So stimulus is the change in the internal or external environment of an organism that leads to a response in the organism. The receptor then will detect the stimulus and it will be specific to one type of uh, stimulus. Coordinator will formulate a response to a stimulus. A stimulus effector will produce response and the response it's, it could be at the molecular level or behavior of a whole organism. So the ability of respond to stimuli is a characteristic of life and will increase the chance of survival of the organism. So here you could easily link this topic to the uh, selected alleles, to the most advanced alleles that will be passed on to the next generation. And this is uh, obviously based on the selection pressure that will lead to the uh, passage of the selective alleles. So what are the taxes? So it's a simple response. It's a direction of movement, which is determined by the direction of stimulus. So uh, we could have positive or negative taxes. So positive taxes, it's a movement towards a stimulus and negative taxes is the movement away from the stimulus. So it's the whole organism here that will be moving. So in terms of the taxes, we can have a look here at a few examples. So for example, we've got the uh, single cell algae. They will move towards the light. And this is an example of the positive phototaxis. Uh, then we've got earthworms. They will move away from the light. And this is the negative phototaxis. We've got bacteria which move towards high concentration of glucose, which is a positive chemiotaxis. And how can we use this movement to, uh, towards the uh, glucose as the source of the food? Uh, so how then single organisms then, uh, move uh, towards the light? Because obviously they are photosynthetic, so they uh, need to produce their food. And the elements will move away from the light to avoid predators. So kinesis then, it's a random movement, random response. And what's really important here, it's the fact that activity rate is determined by the intensity of stimulus rather than direction. So they are not positive, they are not negative, because what we'll see here will be the change of the speed and direction of movement. So, uh, so uh, here, what we need to remember, everything is about the speed. So we've got here terms that stands for the speed and uh, organism uh, uh, rate of turning. But to be honest, we don't need to be aware of those terms for uh, AQA specification. So this response, it's random and uh, the speed and direction of movement can change. So here's one similarity and one difference between a taxis and a, a trophism. Obviously, we didn't look at the trophism yet, but what is a taxis? It's the directional response, okay? And trophism will be the same. So it will be the response towards or away from the stimulus. But if you would like to compare this with kinesis, okay, it's a random movement. So for the kinesis here, okay, it's random. Okay, and uh, what are the differences between taxis and trophies? So taxis was the movement, trophism, which we will be looking at soon, it's the growth. 
So differences of okay, taxes is the movement of the whole organism and trophies meets the group. Well, if we compare to the kinesis, kinesis it's the movement of the whole organisms as well, same as taxis, so it's not a crop. So here we've got the past paper question. You can pause the video for a second to read through it. And the question now. So what type of behavior uh, was shown by uh, group B? And what's the evidence for this? So this is the light, okay, so this is the stimulus and this is the group B that we are looking at. So they had the uh, antins removed. So the behavior is taxis because it's obviously the movement towards the stimulus as we can see. Explain what the results from group A suggest about the factors controlling the behavior. So what is group A? So they had the lights covered. Okay, so it's a gravity in this situation because the uh, antins are involved. Okay, so they had antins, but they had no, uh, they had eyes covered. And so just one advantage of group C. So group C was the control and uh, it helps them to leave the soil. They produce new colonies. They avoid competition. Okay, so they don't go towards the light. So we've got another question here. So you can pause the video, read through, and we need to name the type of behavior response shown by body laws in this investigation and give the uh, evidence for this, okay? And then we have to suggest and explain one advantage of this behavior. So name the behavior, it's kinesis, because as you can see, it's uh, random, okay? It's definitely not taxis because it's not towards any uh, specific behavior. It's the random movement and the speed could be changing, okay? And suggest and explain. So they will stay longer in the warm areas, okay? But they tend to leave, okay? Uh, 30 degrees. So in here, for example, they could stay because of the uh, of the foot. Tropism then, so tropism is the growth, so that's the main difference, it's the movement, it's the growth, and it could be positive or could be negative. So in terms of the uh, positive tropism, we've got the growth towards the light, positive phototropism, but in terms of the uh, negative, okay, the, 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 the stem of the plant the, it's going to growth away from the gravity so it's the negative gravitrophism for the stem but will be positive gravitrophism for the roots because they will drop towards the gravity so examples of the trophism plant shoots okay grow towards light so it's a positive phototrophism plant shoots go away from the gravity so negative gravitrophism plants root grow away from light so negative phototrophism and plants roots grow towards the gravity, so positive gravitrophism. So why is this the case? Because the roots will grow into the soil so they can absorb water, but the leaves obviously need to capture the light for the light-dependent reaction of photosynthesis. So uh, just to summarize, one more picture to show the uh, Trophism, no, geo, geo trophism, we're not going to get marks for this, so gravitrophism, and questions, okay? So, the, you can pause the video now, okay, and let's have a look at the questions now. So, uh, the questions was, what the results show about the response of the roots, okay? The response of the roots, so we're looking here, okay? So, direction, okay, there is not salt not salt okay but uh, we've got salt then present here okay so as we can see the uh, the roots grow away from the salt okay but they grow towards the gravity so positive gravitrophism okay but negative uh, negative response towards the salt so which one of those it's more effective 
the one with the salt it's more effective because it will uh, obviously uh, have more effect than